you may be busy playing the game, grinding level, chasing Paragon level 300, hunting gears, hunting bosses, farming gold, and even more. While you are busy doing all the activities, don't forget about this vendor, Fahira, the buttering vendor. It is a new feature introduced in the Vessel of Hatred expansion, along with mercenaries. You will earn pale marks as you level up mercenaries, companions that tag along while you are playing solo. This mark can be exchanged for powerful legendary gear and mercenary loot caches, making this currency quite valuable if you are farming for certain legendary aspects, equipments, and material to help your character progression and even in the end game. But keep in mind that some items will be only available after reaching a certain report rank with your mercenaries. Pale mark can be obtained by leveling up your report with each mercenary. Most rank up rewards include a bundle of pale marks, usually in batches of 50 to 100 coin. You can exchange this coin at Fahira in the den to purchase legendary gear and loot caches. When you reach max report with a given mercenary, any XP you earn with them will contribute toward a bundle of 100 pale marks, giving you a mean of earn pale marks indefinitely. This applies to all mercenary at max report. Other than leveling report, you can also get more pale marks by beating mercenary events while exploring the world. And these pale marks are also account bound, perfect for gearing alternate characters. However, to make the most of the buttering system, you need to upgrade the stock of the buttering vendor. You need to raise the report rank to at least rank 8 with all 4 mercenaries to unlock all the stock for you. So then the vendor will offer you with more choices. And do take note that Fahira will not available until your character reaches level 15 and report rank 5 with any of the 4 mercenaries. Once you hit the requirement, return to the den and speak to the mercenary you level up. At that point, Fahira will appear at the center, surrounded by all the mercenaries. But do not spend your pale marks at this point, as the vendor doesn't offer you much stuff unless you get a lucky roll. Save up all your pale marks until you have unlocked everything or the items you are hunting for. If you are playing solo, you can hire one mercenary and enlist one reinforcement, meaning that you will be able to level up two mercenaries at once. However, the enlisted reinforcement will earn 50% less report. And if you are in a party, hired mercenary will go on standby. Only enlisted reinforcement can still be summoned and earn report XP. So if you want to level up mercenary faster, I recommend you to play solo with two mercenaries. Not only to level up them, if they are already at max tier, you can earn pale marks much faster as it is infinitely repeatable reward. So you basically never run out of the stuff. And remember to check out the vendor every day for one time free restock supply. Otherwise, the restock option costs 100 pale marks, which is relatively pricey because some of the reward costs in between 20 to 50 pale marks. The good thing about this vendor is not so much on the individual items. Here, here and there, you might get lucky and get a legendary item with greater affixes than you need. But the big thing here is the caches. There are utility caches, resource caches, augment caches, salvage material caches, and even boss material caches. These are relatively cheap for what you get out of them, and they are what we are aiming for. For example, a resource aspect cache gives you only jewelry. This is nice because rings and amulet are some of the hardest items to get in general, and they will all have resource aspect on them. This is important because resource aspect are some of the hardest to hit, especially in the early game. You can get offensive aspect caches too. Try to get a specific key aspect for your build while level up. As I mentioned earlier, some caches and rewards have to be unlocked as part of the report track on certain mercenaries. They augment the vendor after you reach a certain rank which gives you a permanent upgrade to the vendor. From that point on, every time you restock, you have a chance to get one of those caches. And here's my strategy on how and when to spend pale marks wisely. Just keep playing the game as normal. Level up your character and mercenaries to earn pale marks. I don't recommend you running back every hour with your 100 pale marks and buying one thing at a time. Instead, yeah, keep playing. Don't worry about it for a while. And eventually, when you have stacked 8,000 or so, go back and do a big shopping spree. If you know what build you are gonna build for your character, then you can start spending on aspect caches to farm specific aspects for your build. Aspects are getting more and more each season, diluting the total drop pool, though this is making it very hard to get the specific aspect that we needed. But with this system, it is easier. 
especially for hard to get and build the finding aspect. So it is worth using them as soon as you have unlocked some caches. Sometimes it is worth checking individual items for their aspect. As you can see the name of the aspect and look for legendary equipment that you can salvage to obtain the highest possible role on your aspect. You might also be lucky to get a greater affix items offered from the vendor as well. If you offer to you and it is a good role, buy and use it. Or you can trade it with other players to earn millions of gold. Lastly, whenever possible, try to purchase all the boss summoning cash available in the vendor. This cash is extremely important, especially in the end game where farming units is required to optimize your build. This new mercenary system shakes up gameplay in many ways. I'm sure you guys enjoyed it as well, and getting those pale marks to spend on something useful and powerful. Farming things are much easier and faster now, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash a like to the video and see you guys in the next one. Ta-ta!